What's up guys, this is Kent Ross here, East Allen Aquatics, and I'm going to enlighten you guys on what I've been doing outside this summer. So, I've been doing this all summer, yet I have not made a single video about it. I'm not exactly sure why. As you guys know, when I went to the ALA convention last uh, spring, I got some mosquito fish from an awesome person there who was nice enough to give Fort Wayne Fish Tanks and I some Melanistic Gambusha Habruki. So it's like the little Dalmatian mosquito fish. So yeah, he gave us some and I was wondering where I'd put it so I threw this tub outside. Put some sponge, a sponge filter and an air stone in it. Filled it with random stuff, duckweed and other things and then yeah, this is what I have. So let's get right into it and I'll explain as we go. So first, as you can see, we got that those lilies there. I found them in my local pond, cleaned them out best I can, and that's what we have. In there you can see the male gambusia. Right there. You have good clarity in here. I know green water is good for the fish, but I would like to see through. We got duckweed and other stuff, and then there's java moss under the duckweed. If you can see that, there's also some right there. Yeah. And then also there's tons of fry. Gambusia fry. And just one second, I'm going to grab food and feed away. Uh, what I feed these guys is cobalt. Pro Breeder Formula. It's awesome stuff. I'm going to have a full out review coming out soon. But Cobalt makes some amazing, amazing fish food and it's great. I have actually noticed a difference in the, like the breeding rate of the fish from using it and the fry grow really fast with it. It's great stuff. Best thing about Cobalt food, one of the best, is it has these little blue flakes every once in a while that you'll get are like mixed in that are probiotics so they have special nutrients special vitamins and stuff probiotics that help fight off diseases and stuff and it's really good for the fish so you they mix them in there they're the less tasty flakes per se because they're better for you it's like you don't want to eat a, du a meal of just carrots you want to have that nice steak with a couple carrots on the side mix and then you like take a bite of steak take a bite of carrot that's what this is. They put a couple blue flakes in there, which are the less tasty version, but is a lot more healthy. So yeah, that's good food for them. And then, so yeah, they love this stuff. I have two big fat females, and then I have, because they're pregnant, not just calling them fat. And then there's a one spotted female, which I believe is that one that just skittered off over there. I think that's a female. At least it was when it was in the tank. I can't see their like low their anal fins from up here so I have no real way of knowing but as far as I can tell it's a female except it hasn't given birth so maybe it is a male who knows I can't tell from here that's all I'm saying down at the bottom we have more java moss and stuff and there's algae which is inevitable I mean this thing's outside I'll give you a full shot got the triangle sponge filter there and then a little castle that has an air stone in it. And then I'm using, let's take a quick look inside. Little aquaculture air pump. It's a double air pump, works really well. There's that cobalt food. I just set it all on this little shelf thing here. So down there is where the air pump is. It's kind of loud. I don't know if you can hear it. But it's okay because it's in the garage. And then that powers the whole thing. So yeah, that's what we got going on in the pond. It's working very well. So you know, I'm going to bring them in, put them in, I think the 27 gallon upstairs, the bow front that the convicts were in. Oh yeah, I sold the convicts as feeder fish. So he, that's awesome. I got rid of them and made some money off of them made about ten to fifteen dollars total off of all of them selling them at different times 
So now I got that tank open. Right now it's just kind of quarantining some native fish. So yeah, that's what we got going in the pond. Let's get another view of the fry before we go. Thanks for watching, guys. I am not like a ghost YouTuber. I have, I'm going to try and put out videos every week. So keep watching, guys. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you in the next video.